Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I have some team deathmatch gameplay for you. This is from the clan operation last night, and the gameplay is by that cripple who scored first overall for the Wicked Elite in the clan operation with 1,214 kills, which is super beast mode. And the Wicked Elite finished second in the operation with 6,396 kills, which is our biggest finishing ever <laughs> for a clan operation but we're still getting second place because other other clans have been using this strategy for longer and they they are i guess more organized as far as running the strategy but we are getting better and that strategy is is basically having Five riot shielders on a team with one slayer who is getting the majority of the kills for the team. And you have multiple teams. I think we had eight, eight to ten teams tr running this strategy. And then only the top six in your clan scores count for the final total. And... This, this was like a, a controversial strategy when I first heard of other clans doing this. I'm like, I don't know, are you allowed to do that? Because I heard of of people doing this type of thing in lone wolf operations and getting disqualified and, you know, not being awarded prizes in lone wolf operations for doing this. So I'm like, I don't even know if you're allowed to do that. So uh, the two rival clans that were rivaling us lethal gaming and equals mc squared they merged together into one super beast clan and so now they are working together and they are still beating us and when we st first started doing operations we were just able to go with you know the top six super beasts in the clan just running solo and we'd get like 4,300 kills, and that was enough to get us a first place. But Clay and started organizing and strategizing on how to beat us, and as a team working together with strategies like this, five riot shielders, one slayer, they're able to, as a team, outscore our super beasts <laughs> who were just running solo. So we knew we weren't going to win, but I didn't know if the strategy was legitimate, and lethal gaming was getting a lot of shit from other clans for doing it so they contacted beachhead studios just to get an official response and told them the strategies they were using and beachhead said we don't see any problem with you doing this as long as players on the other team are not giving up kills you know then there's no problem working as a team and you know just running riot shoulders with one slayer so after the official response came out, I'm like, all right, that's what we got to do. And the past two clan operations for the kill confirmed and for TDM, we, we've been trying to do the strategy and we're putting up a lot bigger numbers than we used to before. But I, I don't think that all of us as an entire clan has perfected the strategy yet. That cripple did and his whole team of ride shielders did the best and I was watching his live stream for a while while he's while he's doing the operation and his team was doing a good job of just you know they spread out across the map and they're able to see the different spawn points and be like all right they're coming out of docks or they're coming out of office or coming out of dome and so he has a heads up of where the enemy team is spawning so that he can prepare himself and get into the right position to totally rape their face <laughs> and that is what he did in that game and well, what was his final score here hold on it's coming up but he he just went ham and he did this game after game and there was a few times where like his lobby got busted up and they had to get people like got disconnected from xbox live and the party disbanded, and he had to get the party all back together and then get back into a game and so that that was you know slowed him down a little bit but overall he was just able to go beast mode and i forgot to look at what the score was but i'm sure it was a super beast score i think it was all oh, 67 and 5. and in this game he died off the front i cut off his first death and he just started with his his kill streak 
and he gets an assault Moab in this game. And I think he should have held on to his Moab till the end, because as soon as he calls it in, the whole team rage quits. But basically, I just wanted to say that this is a legitimate strategy that Beachhead Studios has given its official seal of approval on doing this strategy. So if you are in a clan, this is pretty much what you are going to need to do to be able to get into the first place or get a win in TDM operations is running with a team of riot shielders with one slayer and just kill whoring. That slayer needs to be a super beast and, and be able to finish the games as quickly as possible and put as much kills up on the board as possible. And I'll put the, uh, the list of the top six in the description. But it was that cripple, War Dog 304, Man of Fear, NG Descend, Pwnstars.com, and Hate House. And I watched some of Pwnstars.com uh, stream, and he was having problems getting into lobbies with a full team. And for the first two hours, he had like less than 500 kills. And for the last hour, he just ran solo and got like 500 kills in the last hour and finished with 934. So. He's able to break a thousand just running solo himself, so he may want to do that. Or if he's able to get in uh, a team that is able to get into lobbies better, it might have just been his team was too geographically spread out and it wasn't finding players to put him in a team to put his team into a, a game with. So that is pretty much all I had to say, and I'll put a link to a couple of the videos from other can uh, other clans that I've been watching that are doing the strategy and there's the moab and it was uh lethal lethal emc squared combined i'll put a link to that video from their last operation and also mks is a ps3 clan and they're putting up huge numbers like 8,000 plus in tdm operations which is just crazy so i'll put a link to those videos in the description and just to see what some of the top clans are doing to win these operations and that's all I have for now, but just wanted to let you know that this is not boosting. These are official, legitimate strategies and what it takes to win a clan operation. So I'll talk to you later, and take it easy. Oh,